Hi, I'm Jordan Bell with Texas a and AgriLife, and together with Marcel Fischbacher and Dennis Coker, we are starting our fifth year of the Cotton and Conservation video series with North Plains Groundwater Conservation District. This year, I will be reporting from a variety trial in Hutchinson County. This trial was planned on May the 7th. It's on 40 inch rows and 60,000 seeds per acre were dropped. Normally, we don't see 40 inch row cotton in the Northern Texas Panhandle, but because of the extreme drought before recent rains, this producer was looking to minimize in field competition by expanding those rows. Also, the seed drop is high because under normal conditions, we don't often see um, a very rapid stand establishment, but following planting, we actually had daytime highs in the 80 to 90s, which resulted in very good stand establishment at this location. Since planting, we've received about 8.6 inches of rainfall. And because of that rain, we actually have very good stored soil moisture. I'm able to probe this field, a full length of my soil probe, which is to four feet. So I do estimate that we have at least eight inches of stored soil water in the root zone, which will be very meaningful going into this cropping season. Now, producers are concerned about the condition of seedlings. Seedlings at this location are showing some um, delay in development because of the lack of growing degree days. We've only received about 140 growing degree days since planting. We also are seeing chlorotic seedlings just because of the very cool wet conditions and seedlings that have been standing in ponded water. I'm also seeing some insect injury, um, a little bit of thrips pressure as well as some wireworm feeding. Normally, we don't see heavy wire worm pressure in the northern panhandle, but increasingly where we have conservation tillage and cotton in rotation with a grain crop, we can find that wire worm larva. As we move into the season, we will continue to report from this location, as well as Marcel and Dennis reporting from two other locations across the North Plains Groundwater Conservation District.